So my name is Angela Orozco. Welcome to everyone joining us. Uh, I am one of our new associate program directors in the Osler Medicine program, focusing on diversity and inclusion. I also work as an assistant professor here in both internal medicine and pediatrics. I think when I think of my experience here and how I have felt not only welcomed, but also included and valued, has really been the element of being seen. And I think when I value and think about how we cultivate a culture and an environment that values diversity and inclusion, it means really recognizing and having each of our residents, our trainees, our colleagues be seen in all the elements of who they are. And so both as clinicians, but I also think of like our humanity outside of medicine and everything that that comes with us when we, we come to the bedside with our patients. And so that can be our race, our ethnicity, or our sexual and gender identities, or our abled bodiness. There's so many elements and facets that make us who we are. And when I think of diversity, it's welcoming each of those into this space. I think that our program has made great strides in our improvement of the diversity in our residency program. And I think that is really important because it more accurately reflects the diversity of the patient population that we take care of and also the United States as a whole. I think beyond just the numerical sort of representation of these groups, what I've seen happen is um, as we have uh, increasingly, I think, demonstrated ourselves as a program to be more welcoming of people from uh, diverse backgrounds, I think what we're also starting to see is a greater a sense of that belonging uh, that, that we're all striving for, where people can uh, identify with, with one another across a number of different factors and, and find common identities uh, with their, with their uh, fellow house officers, and they can also learn from one another. And I think um, that's, that's really an exciting place to see us get to as a program, and I'm, I'm really excited about where things are headed. I'm, I'm proud to have been part of the task force to really, I think, help recruit a incredibly diverse group of house staff to the Johns Hopkins internal medicine residency programs, in particular, many more women in the last few years. And I really feel passionate and strongly about making sure that all of those women feel that they have a place here now. I think now there is a much stronger commitment to diversity and inclusion to think about all of those other aspects of diversity and inclusion that are really required for excellence. And I think that there's a, a much stronger commitment on the part of leadership, not only in the Osler program, but also in the whole School of Medicine. And in fact, even more broadly in Johns Hopkins Medicine. And I think the commitment is getting even stronger. And so now we actually have to act on that commitment by not just supporting individuals from different backgrounds, but by really emphasizing programs and policies that really promote diversity and inclusion. I like to think about having our Black Lives Matter rally here, right here, uh, where all physicians got together and we had moments of silence. And I really appreciated that our institution did not turn a blind eye to all of the racial disparities that happened. And we owned that it was a real crisis that's happening. The more time I spend with my classmates, the more time I really get to know them as people as well as also clinicians and scientists and people who are interested in pulmonology, cardiology, and all sorts of various things. I find that in my experience, I think it, it really just lends to a more enriching experience and one in which I think we learn, grow, and I think teach each other too, more than just professionally, but also personally. Where I've seen us evolve as we have been able to make greater progress in terms of the numerical representation of, of these groups is I've seen us really evolve into thinking more about how we value these individuals who have joined our, our programs and, and who have continued to be here at Hopkins. And I think that's where the real opportunity is, is, is for us to, to think more and to work more around showing that we value um, uh, people and also uh, supporting them in their, in their career development. And that's the case for both our trainees as well as the uh, faculty. Despite the fact that Hopkins is a big institution and has lots of resources here, it is still fundamentally a medically underserved area. Um, and I think it's really important that anyone who comes to this program or comes to this institution is aware of that, wants to take part in that, and has a fundamental respect for that as they develop in, into a clinician. It's really important that we are thoughtful about the needs of this community. And I think it's really important that we understand how they view us as physicians and how they view us as an institution. And I think the more that we can enhance the diversity of our house staff and the more that we can enhance the diversity of our faculty, 
um, the more we can probably gain the trust of those that we serve locally. When I think about diversity, I really don't think about it unless I also include inclusion, uh, because just having a diverse population or a diverse thought doesn't really mean anything unless it's able to be incorporated into where you are. So that's really what I think about when I think about those terms. And I think it, it's like Johns Hopkins does a really good job about trying to make everyone a family, which is another reason why I love the firm system is because it doesn't matter what you are, you already are part of a family. And I think like the ultimate goal is to not only be a part of the firm, but to be a part of the Hopkins Hospital and society as a whole, kind of like big picture. You know, I think about where we started and where we're headed as a program in terms of diversity and inclusion. And I'm so proud of everything that we've done so far in our efforts to be inclusive. Um, I think that there's always room to grow. And I don't think that we've reached our peak. I think this is just the beginning and we're headed towards greater things.